Okay, here's what you've learned so far. You've learned how to give compressions, how to give breaths with and without a mask, how to use an AED, and how to assess the need for CPR and call your emergency response number or 911. So, let's see what it looks like when you put all of these things you've learned together. We're going to show you a demonstration of all of the steps together, from beginning to end, including the use of an AED. Pay close attention, because you'll get a chance to practice afterwards. If you find a person who may be ill or injured, first, check to be sure the scene is safe. The scene is safe. Make sure the person is lying on his back on a firm, flat surface. Sir, sir, are you okay? Tap and shout to see if the person responds. If not, then yell for help. Help, help, I need help. If someone comes, send that person to call the emergency response number and get an AED. You, call 911, get the AED. Check for breathing for at least five seconds, but no more than 10 seconds. If the person isn't breathing or is only gasping, move clothes out of the way and give five sets of 30 compressions and two breaths. Keep in mind that if no one comes to help you, you'll have to call for help and get the AED yourself. Now, open the airway and give two breaths with a mask. Watch for the chest to rise and reposition the mask if necessary. Repeat. Continue until the AED arrives. First, turn the AED on. Push the on button or open the lid. Attach pads to the victim's bare chest. After you turn the AED on, it will guide you through the rest of the steps. Follow the AED prompts and the pictures on the package or pads. Plug in pads connector. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the victim. Shock needed. Charging. Stay clear of victim. Clear. Deliver shock now. Shock delivered. Begin CPR. Start with compressions. And that's what CPR looks like, including the use of an AED. Again, the first compressions overall are the most effective, and they become less effective as you go. So remember, if another trained person is present, switch rescuers at least every two minutes, even if you're not tired, to make sure you're giving good CPR. While resting, give feedback to the other rescuer to help make sure they push hard and fast.